Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today and I'm so excited because I love these. But I am going to do um, a tag video. And let me look this up. The name of the tag is My Luxury Brand Story Tag and this is all Louis Vuitton. Um, I did this already once and it just didn't go well. So I figured I'd do it again. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started. Um, the first question is, what is your first wish list bag? So I've always been the biggest Louis Vuitton fan ever since I can remember. I just absolutely have loved Louis Vuitton. Um, and I remember just absolutely, you know, not knowing anything about this this um, fashion house. I saw the Speedy, and I don't know if I saw it on somebody or, you know, I just, I can't remember, but the Speedy was just, oh my gosh, on my radar, and I saw it in the Damier Ubin um, print, and, or the canvas, and I just fell in love, so that instantly became my wish list item, and that'll bring us to question number two, which is, what is your actual first first uh, purchase? So that would be the um, Speedy, and I didn't know what size at the time. I just kind of was randomly, you know, or just purchasing blindly. Um, and I remember thinking, which was such a big mistake, but I thought, you know, bigger is always better, right? You know, no, not so much. So I was comparing the sizes, and I was like, yeah, I think... You know the 30 between the 30 and 35 it's a couple of bucks so let me go for the 35 hmm. back then when I was younger it actually worked out really well now I'm like this looks like luggage it's so huge it's so ridiculous on me um, but I did end up purchasing the Damier Bean um, classic speedy 35 um, so that was my first purchase um, next question, what do you think is special about this brand? Is it the quality, the service, or the history? I think all three. Absolutely all three. Um, the history, I mean, Louis Vuitton has been around for so long. They have an amazing history. Um, the quality, I mean, up until maybe, what, a year, a year and a half ago, it was incomparable. Um, I've never had issues with the quality. The hardware was substantial, the zippers were seamless, fluid, they still are, but I've actually experienced firsthand, um, you know, getting some not so, you know, you're paying a lot of stuff for this, or you're, you're paying a lot of money for this stuff, right? So you expect, you almost expect perfection. Obviously that doesn't exist, but you know, when you are spending this money, you expect everything to look the way it's supposed to look. And you know, I feel like, I don't know if it's when they added the plant in the USA, I don't know if it's they're just trying to, you know, just rush them out and not do quality control on these before they ship them out. But I've received two items within, I think it was like a three month span where they were both defective and I had to send those back. I wasn't able to recover on one piece because they were, you know, it was a limited edition piece and I had actually spoken to Linda about this um, or we uh, messaged back and forth about this and hers is beautiful, she loves it. Would I like to get it back? Yeah, but um, I'm not gonna, you know, if you're paying that much money, I want perfection or close to, you know? Um, the service, I've had such ama amazing service. Um, I was, terrified of actually going into the store. I used to shop at Saks um, years ago because um, I've, I've said this in many of my videos but I do not have a fashion house near me, a luxury fashion house near me. Um, I think the closest is three and a half, four hours away. So I don't have the opportunity to go in. Um, so pretty much everything is through a friend or a personal shopper that I purchase or over the phone. So I went to Vegas um, January of this year and uh, my husband and I were on a business trip and I just remember thinking, oh my God, I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in. I walked in, you know, and very humbly and it was the most amazing experience. I actually visited two locations or two of the stores. Um, the first, I met the manager of the store. She was 
fantastic. I told her it was my first time. She was so cute. She was so sweet. Gave me two perfume samples. Um, left there feeling amazing. I'm like, this is awesome. I will definitely come back. So uh, fast forward to the next day, my husband has a business meeting. And so I'm like, I'm going to go check it out again. So I'm thinking I'm going back to the same location, but it turns out I went to another um, Louis Vuitton and I, I meet another beautiful, sweet, sweet client advisor. She was amazing. She was a very bad influence, but she was amazing. I mean, I, I spent hours in there. It was the best experience of my life, really. One of the best. Um, I, it was just, I loved it. I loved it. So for all those people that have these horrible experiences, like I feel so bad and you know, you're spending that much money. You have this vision in your head about how it's going to go when you go in there and it doesn't turn out that way. I'm so sorry. Um, because my experiences were so amazing. Um, so for me, the service has been, you know, top notch. Uh, no complaints here. Um, next question. Um, what is your favorite purchase from this brand? And I've got this beauty in front of me and oh my goodness. So I'm going to blame Foxy LV and Leo Lion LV. Linda, I saw her unboxing. Um, and as soon as I saw this bag, this collection, um, <laughs> you know, you see a bag or you see something that you're just so, I, I love, I love handbags. I love luxury items. I just, it makes me, it, it makes me happy. Like it makes me, I can't wait for boxes to come in. It excites me. Um, and this particular bag, oh my goodness. I wanted it so badly. By the time I was able to even look for it, you know, it was gone. So I was optimistic. I was hopeful I would get my hands on one, but you know, it was going to be a long shot. So I see it on Instagram and it was Opulent Habits that had it. So I DM right away the um, Darcy, the owner of Opulent Habits, and I'm like, I want this bag. I want this bag. Please hold it for me. I want this bag. Just tell me what I have to do. Um, and she was like, okay, okay. Um, so I contact her the next morning. Um, she was like, you know, just let me know the seller is, I guess, contemplating not selling it. So I was like, crap. So I um, messaged her the next morning. She was like, yeah, the seller hasn't said anything yet. You know, we're still waiting. So I was so bummed, but still hopeful. That ends up falling through. And one night I'm just browsing, and this is, do not do this gals, cause you'll get into so much trouble. Late night browsing, I'm on my Facebook page, the luxury page. I see my holy grail bag and flip out. I DM this lady right away. She was amazing. And I literally had my bag within two to three days and it was coming from so far away. But here, let me just show you my beautiful and this is the amazon 2016 runway collection um there's just something i every time i look at this bag i get so happy i love this bag this bag will never ever ever leave my collection um and this was linda's favorite as well and i i agree linda i totally agree i love this bag it's comfortable it fits all my daily essentials i can't say enough about this bag my absolute favorite um, okay, moving on. Let's see. What is your latest purchase? My latest purchase. So the Tahitian um, line came out and I went crazy on that one too. I just saw that on Instagram. As soon as I saw that, I was um, uh, messaging Lisa back and forth and we were both just like over the moon over this collection and I was like I want every piece I want every piece I was looking to add more dummies or pieces at the time because um, I only had one and I was getting rid of that it was a totally um, MM and um, fell in love with the and it's not even a rose ballerina it's more like a that pink poudre that poudre um, color um, it's just a gorgeous gorgeous pink and I ended up buying the Neverfull, the Speedy Bandolier, the uh, Mini Pochette, the Bandeau, and the Key Charm. And I'm just so happy to have those in my collection. So that was my latest purchase or purchases. 
Do you think you'll stay loyal to the brand in five years? Absolutely, without a doubt, yes. I love Louis Vuitton. I will always love Louis Vuitton. They are so edgy compared to any of the other fashion houses. They have such different and versatile pieces. You just don't get that with another fashion house. You know, they've got something for the edgy um, woman. They've got something for the classic woman. They've got something for just everybody. And you can always count on just something great coming out of this fashion, this fashion house. So absolutely, I will stay loyal. Um, what is a starter piece that you'll recommend um, from this brand? So, um, I think we all feel like the key clay is such an amazing piece. Um, this is so versatile. It's small, it's compact, you can fit this in any of your, you know, purses, whether it be a mini, I mean, just whatever. You put your keys on there. I've got cards in there and some other stuff. Um, but you can use this as a mini wallet. This is such a great piece. It's affordable more so than the others. Yes, they're expensive still, but this piece I would highly, highly recommend um, for a starter. Um, honorable mentions, I have to have to say, and I don't have it with me unfortunately, but it's the six ring key holder. I've got it with the rose ballerine um, button and the, the interior. Love that piece. I take it with me every single day. Can't live without that piece. I don't know what I did without it. It protects your, you know, purse from the keys that are in there, from scratching and all that good stuff. And I love that piece so much. Another contender um, would be the mini pochette. This thing holds everything and then some. I mean, I pack these so much. Absolutely love this piece. Um, but yeah, this would be my choice because it's, it's very affordable. Um... What will you be buying next from this brand? Um, what am, oh, oh, okay. So, Linda, I blame you as well on this one. But um, I just recently, after milling back and forth, back and forth, I was bugging everybody. Linda, I bugged you about this. Lisa, I bugged you about this. I just couldn't decide because I don't have a fashion house near me. Um, so... I kept going back and forth between the 25 and the 30, the Speedy Bandolier 25 and 30. And I was just hearing mixed reviews on the opening to the 25. And I mulled over it and mulled over it and mulled over it. And I just, it was ridiculous. I finally contacted my client advisor. I said, please find me one made in France. I'm like, if, kind of like in my head, I was like, if she finds one made in France, it's a done deal. She ends up finding one made in France. I scoop that bad boy up, I get this thing, and it excited me so much. As soon as I opened the box, I was so, so happy. I was so glad that I actually pulled the trigger and I purchased this beautiful piece. I love the 25. I love, 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 love. I can't say it enough. I like the 30, but for me, every day, it fits all, the 25 fits all of my essentials. I love the way it looks crossbody. I love the way it feels. Oh, I just, this bag, I just have a newfound love for, for the Speedies and this particular size. And like the Amazon, you know, I love that size. You can fit everything. It's so, it's classic. I mean, I love it so much. Um, so yeah, that's... Um, my client advisor is actively searching for um, made in France pieces for me so that'll be my next purchase um, you know hopefully here in the, f the near future um, and I think that was it and I'm so bummed because I had these names written down oh, I want to tag a few people there was like four people I wanted to tag I want to tag Lala LV I'd love to see what she has to say um, SJA Bean, I hope I got that right. Love her channel. Um, the Blessed One, she's so funny. I'd love to see what she says. And the Lux Purse, something. The Lux Purse, I'll put it down in the description box below. But I'd love to see what those four think about this. Uh, Lisa, you've already been tagged, um, so I'm not going to tag you. Um, but yeah, this was so much fun. Linda, I didn't thank you. I don't think I did, you know, in the beginning of this, but thank you so much for tagging me. I love these so much. Um, so I appreciate it. Um, you've been a huge influence on my choices and I love you so much. I love your channel. You're amazing. You're a doll. But, um, thank y'all so much. Have an amazing weekend. This was a lot of fun and I'll be back with some more videos soon. Um, take care guys and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.